Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another day in the epic adventures of Draconia in Shadows of M. Now, this time around, we will actually be able to remove this frost thing from the sides. Since the Oyotig lent me his portal key. There we go. And then we've got that. That is a closed door that we don't want to enter just yet. By the way, we've got Magic Staff, or Magic Wand, Frost Wand, uh, I think that's Fire Wand, uh, Monster Summoning, Lightning Wand, and... I can't remember the sixth one, but we're sure to find out pretty soon. What was it? Oh, the one of Cloud Kill. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so that should be all that we need. And we now can move all the way up here. And we want to do that, definitely. Because the first time, for example, I played this game, I walked right past this statue. Why would I do that? I don't know, but... It didn't look like there was anything on it. However, then pressing the tab key, obviously, things are going to turn out much, much better. And you do want to loot here. Because there's a ring of protection, and you want to have that right away. Plus one, by the way. Increases your armor class by one, and also increases your saving throws. So, it's all better now. Oh yeah, right. I can equip it called the Mail of the Dead. Let's see, if I give that to you, dear Minsk. Yeah. Why would I do that? Simple fact. There is no saving throw bonuses on this, but there is a saving throw bonus on this. And so, it's a better choice to use that on my main character, since she's never allowed to die. If Draconia dies even once in this game, then you have to restart from the previous saving point. And I want to avoid that as much as I can. Right. Filling up that and giving that to Minsk so he can store that. Other than that, I think I'm okay right now. Now, for that mysterious door over here, just let me tell you you want to act fast. And you shouldn't have any problems with this. I'm going to open it. And then... Hooray! You see what that is? That is a vampire! And thus we attack the vampire. Because it can't do anything against us at this moment, not anyway. Hopefully we'll be able to kill it, because that's some bonus experience we can get. Like this, 8,000. However, we have to kill the assassin now. But that shouldn't be much of a problem. And also, we gotta level up Draconia and your hero. If you don't kill the vampire, you will not level up inside the first dungeon, if you go with four people, that is. Because the less people you have, the more experience each of them get divided up. Because if you have Yoshimo in your party, all experience points, of course, will divide it by five instead of four. Right, four hit points, and a level three and a level four spell, which we shall indeed already memorize. I'm going to take one time this. And we are going to take one time this. Should be fine for now. Right. Level up. What? 14. That's a lot of hit points, my friends. I do have the rules on normal, don't I? Oh, no, yeah. Wow, that was a pretty lucky roll, I would say. Well, <laughs> considering I already have 120, uh, 113 hit points before that, it was pretty lucky indeed. What do you want? I guess most of the mage characters have that at the end of the game, really. Right, I'm not even sure. I haven't played this for quite a while. It should be alright to dash forward. There we go. Micro! Micro two characters at the same time! This is what Baldur's Gate is all about! Micro, micro, micro! 
and loud sounds in the background that nearly turned my ears apart. Uh. Alright, now, I believe there's a mage over there that I don't want to really attack at this point head on. Right. Saving up. And going in. Yep, there's some dwarves here. There's a dwarven mage over here. One minx could go in first, and then the other ones. What? By the exile, the prisoners have escaped between the invading thieves and the loss of the What? And the loss? Oh, well. That's sad. The master will not be pleased. Come, Grey Ones, we must be stopping them. Duh. You will not, not be stopping anyone tonight. We should be able to kill the mage before he can cast too many things. Hopefully. Not sure why he didn't cast anything, but he's dead anyway, so there's no possibility for him to cast anything at all. Other than uh, he casts death on himself. Dies. Right, Imoen, go search for traps. And I don't think there's anything special in here, other than the odd mage. Time to move. Right. Right, you are. Dip, dip. Mm. Do I need that? I don't think I actually do. I want that one, but the other two chests are not really needed. I'll take those though. And then we move to room number two. Where might that lead us? So lane number two in this case. Oh yeah, I remember. This is going to be a special place. A very special place, actually. Yep. No, I'm not your captor. I was recently prisoner here myself. Well... I would prefer to know who you are and how you came to be imprisoned here first. Hmm... I've seen others that have been experimented on, as you say. It is a most terrible thing. Do you know who's behind all this? I'm unsure if I'm even able to aid you. Do you know how to unlock the glass door of your cage? Hmm. Very well. I shall find it and release you. Nobody should be treated like this. Alright. Now, we're going to save Frenadan. Right, right. However, what you should be aware of, there are some traps in this room that you do not want to activate. Trust me, you do not. That's one. And two. Well, this should be easy enough. There's the key to this door. Now, I'm not sure if I can actually get all this stuff in my backpack. I hope I can. Cause otherwise, it will really be bad. Like you get those. Oh my, this is going to be very close, actually. You're going to get these. I don't... I'm going to save them for now. I'm not sure if I need them. You will get these. You'll keep those, you'll get these. This is, by the way, inventory Tetris. Which kinda is fine, I suppose, if you don't do it that much. 
Dun 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 Oh! Actually a locked door. Uh a locked chest. Open it. And now we can get the key to a cell. Saving up. Opening door. Um do you know anything about the prison, such as a way out? Alright, very well then. Friend of that. Save me, dear sir. No, it's Please nothing. Alright. Anyway, you're moving. Time for you to get in and steal. This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. Yeah, we will go out of here once we can, young girl. Alright, some arrows. You will get the rest of these scrolls here. The reason why I'm keeping all this is because I want to sell the many things that I have brought from down here to the surface. Shouldn't be too much anymore. I believe that should actually be it, item-wise. Now, let's leave this place. Because there's only one way to go, and it is down here. Now, friend is following us for now. I'm saying for now, because that might change, who knows. Guild War? What are you talking about? I just went out of this dungeon. Guild Wars is not even out yet! You do not know about that! Mm. Du -du -du -du. I have no reason to lie, I just went out of here! Great! Oh, that was nice. You do with these? You do with these, and uh, yeah, you do with these as well. Alright, that should be enough. The only, like, real challenge in this fight is the mage, really. You try to take him out as quickly as you can, so nothing actually happens to you. It's always a good choice. Now we're finally here in the sewers, where we belong! And we can get out of here, however, I want to rest before we go out. Because I want to make sure that all people are rested and well. We only needed eight hours to do that! Lovely! Now let's continue. And it seems Frenadon is not following us at all anymore. Lovely as well. Should be that. Let's go. The tunnel slopes upward into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage, and a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. The sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems, is still going strong. And now to one of the best combat scenes in the early days of PC gaming. I'm not kidding, this fight is great. I love it. You dare to attack me here. Do you even know whom you face? You will suffer! You will all suffer! So, Godchild, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what you're doing. 
let us go. I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. <laughs> Enough. I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. And there the police comes. This is an unsanctioned kind of. <laughs> of magical energy. All involved will be held. This disturbance is over. Must I be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this. This mage's power is immense. We must overcome him quickly. Wally does only have a certain amount of spells Enough. per day. <laughs> That's good to know. You will cease your spell casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You bore me, Majorly. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. Help me. And the police get cut off in the end. Wonderful. Yep, he does, Minsk. And something will be done. Mm, you will see that soon enough, Jahira. Or you may actually be not be, s since you will not be part of my adventuring group, but yes. Alright. So, we're in the city. Let's press M. This is the area map with lots of things to see here. We only have some things that I want to get from here before we continue on. I just want to show you the the local map where or world map rather. As you can see, we're in North Catla. We're right now in Walkins Promenade. And there are seven more districts to discover. The docks, the temple, government district, the bridge district, the slums, the graveyard, and the city gates. Although the city gate is not really a quest-rich environment. And as you can see, we also have a world map. Other than that, we have Watcher's Keep down here, which will be added by having thrown a ball on your computer. The add-on. And you can go there from Shadows of Am and from Throne of Bale. A ball. And that is exactly what this is going to be. As Katla here. And there are some random locations that we not have discovered yet on the map later on. Right. First things first though. Selling things. And also looting corpses. Should be some more gold on these. That I definitely want to take. By the way, Irenicus is so badass. I mean he like single handedly killed like four mages. And he killed four thieves. The first one gets um, encased in stone. The other three get killed instantly. And then the mages come and they more or less get killed instantly as well. No Quite nice, actually. Five white points and Thacker reduced by one. That would be the fighter level, I suppose. And Minx level up as well. Hit points gained eight and one... Oh, the first one level spell, I believe. Boots! A lovely spell for first. Now, let me sell things. And also let me identify things. The problem is, um, I kind of forgot to identify with the moan first hand, but that's not a big issue at this point. Not at all, I am Draconia. Yes, show me what you have services you have. And then you will notice Hooray! You can actually sell things for good prices. I'm going to keep these identify rolls for now, but other than that, the rest I probably am going to sell. I'm going to identify these. Yeah, I realize I could have done that a little bit better, but I mean, we get enough money anyway. I don't mind that too much. Right, we're gonna keep those for now. Got 
gonna sell the normal healing potions and the elixir of health because we don't need them. Gonna keep all the spell scrolls for now in our inventory. And also Minx is going to walk onto this bottle because there is more stuff from Imoen on that. Right. And the rest whoa, she's too far away. Alright. Scroll down. And uh, Draconia is going to st oops, don't wanna save. Draconia is going to stand over here. So I don't have to walk double the distance. Let's put these over here. And all the other things into her inventory for now. And uh, those on here. You get that, you get that, that. And of course one item cannot be put into my inventory. This is the typical Baldur's Gate. Like you just need one more inventory space to do things, but no, it won't let you. Wonderful. Uh, let's see, we don't need that many arrows. Let's put them down. We can't sell them anyway. I'm gonna buy them if we need them. Some other person can get them and then use them. I don't care too much about those. And she will get those. Just to have some around, and you will have some more of these. Good. Let's sell the last few items that we have. We're gonna keep the amulet as well we will find another mage pretty soon and I want her to wear that. I'm going to keep the girdle because it provides us with a plus four blunt weapon armor bonus meaning I need to hit a little bit better to make that happen. Interestingly enough the curse scroll almost gives as much as a normal one. How sad. We don't need anything else than that. The rest is going to be sold. Sell these, Potion of Theory, Bolts. And we still have some unidentified Bolts. To identify those. Arrow of Bitings we don't need, Bolts plus one we don't need. Scroll and Cloud Kill as well. Alright. Now do we have anything that we have in our inventory that we don't need? For example that. Ah, right, I don't need to be close to sell stuff. I always forget that. I was always reminded about the earlier games that needed me to actually be there. Alright, let's put these things off. Anything else? He's fine, she's fine. These things need to be sold. All right. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. No, nope, we want to keep the braces. Also, I want to make you aware that you should not spend your money too quickly. Unless you definitely know what you want to buy, you should not do it for now. Because there will be things you will need very, very soon and you don't want to uh, throw your money away. What I am going to buy is I'm going to buy two plate armors. Or oh, actually I believe I need only one, or at least one, for her. And that's about it. Because I want her to have a better armor class. And that's that's really it. Nothing else that I need for now. I'm going to sell the other piece of armor. And then before we continue anywhere, we're gonna go to a special shop on the left hand side here. This is called the Adventurous Mart. And if you have the special edition, like I do, you can get into there and get some special items that you might want to have later on. 
You can't buy them now because you don't have the money for it, but you can buy them later. And you definitely should be aware of that. Just going to show you the two traders. The first one is here, it's Daedre. And you can see what kind of items she has. Like this is for example a katana. Uh, you might want to, to buy. It's quite a good abilities if you have like playing a bard or something like that. I believe it also works for bards. Level major spells. And the Sensate Amulet, which is basically very nice for priests, perhaps, or... Yeah, actually, it's only usable by clerics, so... Yes, priests! <laughs> then we've got a special bard for bards. Is it actually not usable by a direct cleric or mage beast master? Yes. Basically, bards. Veiler's Helmet. It can cast Simulacr what? Simulacrum. Wow, I think I've never used that spell, but... In theory, it provides an armor class bonus of 1, and you can cast that once per day. The Plate of Balduran, however, you want to buy that for your fighter if you can. 4 hit points, 1 charisma, and the armor class is set to minus 1. This one is especially nice. The Mercy Killer Ring increases all your Thief abilities. The Sword of Balduran increases lore and magic resistance by 10% each, damage and Thacko plus 2, which means it's a plus 2 weapon. It's a quite nice one actually for the 10 magic resistance, we might buy that later. And you want to buy this one for sure, because it reflects Behold the Rays. It does have a minus 1 strength modifier, but I find this shield to be very very nice later on. For now, you don't need it though. However, you want to talk to the lady back here, Lady Youth. Yes. I'll take a look at the offering. Because she has something that I definitely want to have. A scroll case. In that you can carry scrolls around without having to store them all the time. And I believe that's that. Now let's have a look at the spells that she has. A thousand six hundred. No, we're not going to buy that now. You definitely want to buy lower resistance, which is one of the most awesome spells ever. I like it a lot. Possibly um, a hold person, although it doesn't really matter at the moment, but it is a definitely a nice spell to have early on. And I believe someone doesn't have Mouth's Acid Arrow. And also, Resist Fear. Very nice spell to have around in the beginning. I don't think there's anything else other than Magic Missile, perhaps, that I definitely need. Right, and also, there's a seller here who's Rebuild. And you want to talk to Rebuild as well, because he sells very awesome things. Yes. Excuse me. Yes, there are some items we are interested in. And Rebold has a very fine collection of things. Like, basically, he has plus one weapons for every possible weapon that you can get, and sometimes even plus twos. And they're really, really good at the beginning. If you have a bit of money to spare, then you should probably have a look at his store. As you can see, there are lots of things, like this for example, deals fire damage. Or this one deals a lot of damage more. So that's, that's very, very nice things that you can get here. But we're not looking for that right now. For example, you can buy a full plate armor for 9,900 gold. You want to buy that as soon as you can. We've got, for example, the Fortress Shield, which is very nice against missile weapons. You can't basically get hit by any kind of missile attacks, like arrows and such. However, I'm searching for something specific further down, which is the Gem Bag. Basically the same as the Scroll Bag, but um, for gems. You also want to buy the Girdle of Hill Strength very soon. 
And I think I forgot to show you something very special on Daedra. Wow, I never went over that actually, the last time. There! The robe of Vecna! This is the best robe that can get for a mage at all. If you have this robe, this is going to be a slaughter fest. Because the robe of Vecna basically is a robe that enables you, more or less, to cast basically two spells in a round instead of one. So more or less the same like you would do haste. It it does a, the the good thing is about this, for example if you have time stop and you have haste on yourself, you can cast a bajillion spells in a very short amount of time. Haste normally does the same thing that it can cast two spells in the same round and the robe of Vecna more or less makes them instant. You do need to wait between spells the same distance, but you definitely have a very good amount of um, casting spells more or less instantly. And that helps, for example, for fireballs or for time stop later on, like level 9 spells, which is very high, but definitely a very good item to have. And I'm going to use that as soon as I can. Now we're going to go out and then we're going to collect uh, the other party members. For now, I'm going to save, and when we come back, folks, I'll be showing you the way around of Catla. So, I'll be seeing you all next time.